What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Caprice here with another video. Man, can you guys guess where I'm at? Ooh, look at them palm trees. Who don't love palm trees? I love palm trees. Man, I just touched down over here in Miami. Came to eat one of my favorite spots. If y'all haven't tried this spot and you guys live around Fort Lauderdale, uh, Hollywood, man, this spot right here. Padrinos, man, they got some fire Cuban food. But anyway, check out the car, man. We got the rental. They gave me a Beamer. Not a bad car. I'm out here with my boy from Bowtie Performance. What's up, bro? Not so much. Enjoying the weather. Hey, man, can I get a, a second opinion about the food? How was the food? Yeah, it was great. It was great, right? Great start off to the day. Were you, oh, were you, right. will, will you recommend this? Oh, yeah, for sure. It was good. See, Fast. I'm trying to, try to tell you guys, y'all got to come check the spot out if you guys live out here. Or if you guys are just visiting, just come out here, man. But anyways, man, it's time to get to business. You guys know why we out here. We're going to car shop. Hopefully, we can get something today. If not, we had a good meal. So, time to hit the road. All right, guys, we made it here to the destination. I here close to Miami. Not exactly know how to pronounce where we at, but anyways, it's one of the shops where uh, Magic City Classics got some of his cars. He'd be selling old schools and be doing body work, paint, a little bit of everything. So this is one of his facilities. Uh, this is where he has one of the vehicles that I'm gonna be checking out, we, that I'm gonna be showing you guys shortly. And uh, see what you guys think, man. But he got a couple cars out here. Y'all wanna see them? Check it out. 71 Impala hardtop. Oh, this is a Caprice actually. Got the matching steering wheel. I don't really know if he did any work to this car or is here to get some work done. So I can't really say this is his work. This is a nice clean old school. Oh look, it's got a bumper pull. You probably pull your boat with this. I've seen it in a video before. Probably here for some paint, who knows. Big brakes, six piston, bear. Nice. What we got here? A T type. Like an 86 T type Regal. Turbo. And he's got some 22s. Kind of like the stock replica wheels. He's in a bigger version with a twist. This one actually looks in good shape. All original. T tight. Pretty nice car. Look at them jams, no rust.
Magic City Classic. This is one of his shops. This is one of his personal cars. Super rare Cadillac. Got the custom 26 inch Dane, rear gold pan. Every lid, that you see there. It's pretty much a two door DeVille, turning to a convertible. This one's all the original, original paint. Besides the wheels, these are custom 26 inch reverse Dane, 180 spokes. original getting ready for Florida classic you got might see this one out there it's gonna look nice all done put back together she got the interior smells old in here with that vanilla yellow leather kind of like we having Super rare. This is way different than a dunk. Convertible. We got nice headliners for a convertible top. Find me one of these, even though there's only 200, it's gonna be hard. So if you guys know, or any of y'all know that it is one of these for sale, let me know. Not only does he have one, but he has two. This one's super nice. Check out the old school bug collector. This one's clear. Had a leg. Got the 26 inch gold veins with the chrome lip. This one getting done as well. You're gonna have the tire switch colors. They're gonna be white and red to match the color scheme. Right with the, the room. He's currently getting the headliner redone. But like I said, both of these are gonna be going to Florida Classic, so make sure you guys check them out. They're gonna to look totally different. All cleaned up, fresh white walls, color match. Make sure you guys go check them out on Instagram, Magic City Classics. Now guys, the woman that you guys have all been waiting for. Now yeah, check out this one. They're super nice too. Hit the beach, you know, since they're right here in Miami. Gonna have a surfer board. He's almost there, he's gonna finish it up. Put the windows. Put the windshield. Pretty rare. Definitely a beach truck. It's got surfboard on top or on the side. Last but not least. $19.99 
1995 Chevy Silverado Shore Custom painted. Twenty six inch Asante wheels, three piece wheels. Got the four fifty four mirror upgrade. The step side, the twenty six inch, twenty six by thirteen Asante. Look at the size of that lid. Big boy. Custom fitted in there. Already has a four link. Tub. Still need some finishing, you know. There's nothing I can't finish. Gotta get the tail lights, the back bumper. Got the roof paint and shiny black. The truck is currently right now all gutted. Let's see if I can open the door. So like I was saying, the truck is currently all gutted out. So it's gonna be a fun project. And now after going to Houston, Texas this past weekend, uh, I got a little motivated and wanted to try getting in the truck scene to show that you know I can build trucks too not just dunk so I think this is a good starter truck it's not quite what I would like to build but it's not a bad truck of what it is and I think that it has a lot of potential and it's a rust free truck you know and I've seen salt none of that it's a Florida truck it's got clean jam painted color match everything so, I'm actually excited about this one. I'm gonna have to do my own touches to it. So let me know. Get in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Should I pick this short bit up and build it? Get it ready for the next truck show in Texas? Or should we get a different one? But I think this one might be the one to start off with. Like I said, it's all been taken apart. Everything's been painted already. So it's a big head, a big step ahead. I just gotta do my final touches. So gotta do the whole interior, finish up the bed, add some coilovers to the back. Cause the truck had airbag before but they removed them because i don't really like air ride so i gotta add some coilovers i don't know i'm actually excited about this one so let me know get in the comment section let me know what you guys think on this sure bet i know if you guys want to see the build on this i was trying to get it started and pull it out but for some reason the alternator just fried on us so we're gonna have to change the alternator but it does have the stock 350 in it it's a 95 so it doesn't have the vortex one all original so i don't know See how it goes. See if we can bring it back to the cold weather. I like that stance. You can already see a big villain lip under there. We'll still talk to the man, man. Let's see if we can make it happen.